Hi friends, thank you for the likes in my previous video. So today we are going to discuss a question removal game in which we are given a list of integer and we have two players P1 and P2 and they can remove element from any end of our list. Uh, so we need to find the maximum score possible for P1. So yeah, uh, it is a problem of dynamic programming. So let's have a look at the example. We have four, five, one, three. So optimal uh, way for P1 to remove element is that first uh, he would remove three. So his score is three. Then we are left with uh, this array. Then uh, player 2 will come and he will remove either 4 or 1 both are optimal so let's say he will remove uh, element 4 so player 2's score is 4 we do not have to calculate this score but uh, anyway uh, we are now we are left with uh, uh, this array and now the optimal way to uh, remove an element from this array is to remove 5 so <laughs> P1 will remove 5 from here so his total score would become 8 and now P2 would, would come and he will he will remove 1 from here so his total score would become 5 so we need to find the maximum score possible for P1 that is in this case 8 so let's have a look at the logic so what we are uh, saying if P2 choose 4 if P1 choose 4 then P2 will choose the optimal between this list he will left with this array so if if now P2 choose 5 in this array then uh, uh, our final answer would be 4 choosing 4 plus optimal between 1 and 3 that is P1 choose 4 P2 choose 5 then we are left with 1 and 3 so our, our final answer will be 4 plus optimal of 1 and 3 and if P2 choose 3 like first we have chosen 4 then we are left with this uh, now P2 come and P2 choose this then we are left with these two elements so now if P2 choose 3 then we are left with this array and our final answer would be 4 plus optimal of 5 and 1 similarly if in the first uh, step P1 choose 3 which is our optimal case uh, if we choose 3 then our uh, left we are left with uh, the array 4 5 1 and if p2 choose 4 in this case <laughs> then our uh, our final answer for p1 would be choosing 3 plus optimal between 5 and 1 that is uh, the left over array and if p2 choose 1 in this array in this left array then uh, our fi final answer would be 3 plus choosing the optimal between 4 and 5 okay so yeah now let's discuss some of the base case if we have only one element then uh, choosing that element is the optimal answer and if we have two element then choosing the maximum between them is the optimal answer like in this case choosing 5 is the optimal answer in this case choosing 5 is the optimal answer again so uh, uh, in our this example if uh, if P1 choose 4 uh, if P1 choose 4 then our final answer would be 7 and if uh, P1 choose 3 then our final answer would be 8 so uh, our P1 will choose the most optimal answer that is he will choose 3 and he will get the final optimal answer as 8 so now let's have a look at the code first of all we are taking input there and then we are making two uh, vector 2d vector the two first is dp in which our answer is stored and second is choose vector which stores that which index we have chosen <coughs> for the optimal answer that is either the starting index or the uh, last index so first we are uh, calculating 
आर डी पी एस लेंथ वन लाइक वी आर फर्स्ट कैलकुलेटिंग डी पी लेंथ इज वन देन देन लेंथ टू लाइक दिस देन लेंथ थ्री देन लेंथ फोर बिकॉज फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग लेंथ टू वी नीड लेंथ ऑफ वन एंड फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग लेंथ थ्री वी नीड लेंथ ऑफ वन एंड टू बोथ एंड या फॉर आई इक्वल टू वन टू एंड वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग और जे वैल्यू इज आई प्लस लेंथ माइनस वन एंड इफ जे इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एन देन देर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग फर्दर बिकॉज इट इज आउट ऑफ इंडेक्स एंड इफ लेंथ इज वन देन दिस इज आर बेस केस डी पी ऑफ आई जे इक्वल टू ए आई एंड वी आर चूजिंग इंडेक्स आई एंड इफ लेंथ इज टू देन वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इफ ए आई इज ग्रेटर देन ए जे देन वी आर चूजिंग ए आई एस आर ऑप्टिमल आंसर एंड आर चूज इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू आई एल्स वी आर चूजिंग ए जे एस आर ऑप्टिमल आंसर एंड आर चूज इंडेक्स इज जे एंड इफ लेंथ is greater than and equal to 3 then what we are doing we are calculating two things uh that we have uh, two thing choose first and choose last like we have done here this is our choose first and this is our choose last okay so if we choose first element that is ai then our player 2 uh left with uh, an array whose starting index is i plus 1 and j plus 1 and we are uh, now uh, finding either uh, uh, either player 2 will choose i plus 1th index or j th index for his optimal uh, game so if uh, his optimal game is uh, choosing i plus 1th index then we will uh, uh, remain with the uh, array whose starting index is i plus 2 and whose uh, uh, whose ending index is j and if it is not i plus 1 then it it is equal to j means player 2 will choose the index uh, last values that is jth index then we are left with an array whose starting index is i plus 1 and whose ending index is j minus 1 and for choosing last what we are doing we are uh, adding a j to our answer and we are then again calculating either player 2 will choose i th index or j minus 1th index because he is left if we choose j th index then he is left with uh, an array whose starting index is i and ending index is j minus 1 and if we choose i th index then we are left with uh, i plus 1 to j minus 1 array that is uh, this and if he choose j minus 1th index then we are left with an array whose starting index is i and whose ending index is j minus 2 so that what we have written here and finally we wait a second and finally we are uh, checking either choose first is greater than choose last if choose first is greater than choose last then we are assigning it to our answer that is dp ij equal to choose first and we have chosen ith index and if choose last is greater then we are assigning it to it to our dp ij and uh, its index to choose ij and finally we are uh, printing our answer dp of 0 Uh, n comma n minus one. That is uh, uh, our full. That is if we have an array of uh, array from zero to n minus one index, then what is the optimal answer for player one? So yeah, this was the solution of this question. If we if you have any doubt, please uh, write it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.